students in uh, one block, I believe, and Darren had a couple students in the block too. But uh, he just don't want you guys to get in that habit of you know giving up 130 points to win a game. What's your thoughts on that? On tonight's game on the defense? Yeah, I mean it was rough. Uh, you know, giving up almost 70. You know, in the first half, they, they scored over 30 in every quarter except the third. Like, uh, you know, obviously it's not acceptable. It's not going to be sustainable, you know, as we move forward. Um, you know, but, you know, I, if we're not going to guard, then we got to score. And we did that tonight, but it's, it's not something that we can continue to think that we are able to do. You're not going to make shots every night. So um, we're going to be better defensively. I mean, kudos to them. They made some, they made some shots. They were making some tough shots. Uh, but at the same time, they were getting easy layups. And, uh, staying in their offense, and uh, you know, I, I, I thought I thought our defense was poor tonight overall. Um, you know, myself included. Brandon, you know, I gotta be better defensively. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I gotta be better. Don't let the numbers fool you. I gotta be better. Um, but uh, but yeah, we just gotta be better on that end. Uh, and moving forward. Will that make it harder to enjoy the win? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> winning is winning. I don't care. Uh, don't care how you get it. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it regardless. Oh, and I, you know, he mentioned a second ago about Tristan. It seems like you got about as big of a kick out of Tristan as anybody in this building tonight. Just, uh, what did that energy mean, especially him coming in and filling in that void that Rashawn left when he went out? Yeah, I mean, that's just who, <laughs> that's just who TC is. Uh, you know, playing with, playing just with a lot of energy and having a lot of fun out there. Um, you know, I, I, I don't want to say I grew up watching him because that didn't make him sound super old, but. Uh, you know, I was a big, I was, I was a Cavs fan growing up, so like, T, I, you know, I watched TT a lot. So being being able to play with them is so fun, just to hear the stories of you know guys you know that I've, I've watched growing up, and then uh, we've got, we have a really good relationship that allows us to you know play off each other well. And, um, you know, he he's always on me for my energy and me leading, and I'm gonna be on him for his energy. And I know you know if we hold each other accountable, you know, it's gonna be good things more times than not. Maybe on had a nice offensive night tonight. Um, you know, a lot has been made about his defense, and he's shown what he can do on offense. But what is your assessment of what his offense is, and kind of how does he help you guys in that regard? Yeah, I think he's just getting more comfortable. Uh, you know, every night. You know what I'm saying? Like this, you know, I, you know, from experience coming in as a rookie, like things go, are going 100 miles an hour at all times. You know what I'm saying? There's, it's like it's never stopping, and it gets to a point. You know, around this time, maybe a little later for some guys. Where things start to slow down, and when things start to slow down, then you you know, then guys really hit the ground running. It happens earlier for some guys, later for some guys. But I think we're we're getting to that time for Davion where you know the game's slowing down for him. He's making shots, which which helps. And then obviously what he brings defensively, no matter if he's making or missing shots, you know you're going to get that out of him. You know what I'm saying? So it's just good to see him, you know, play in that rhythm and that feel that you know I see on a daily basis that I've seen you know for as long as I've known him. Um, you know, it's just good for him to come out here and perform well. And, you know, when he's playing well off the bench and, and, and helping lead that second group, um, you know, we're, we're, we're really hard to stop. Hey, Ty, great game, first of all. Uh, what do you say about your partnership with the Aaron Fox on tonight's game? And how how big boost do you get from that, uh, that, that effort, that win, stuff like that? Yeah, you know, just... We had such a bad chemistry issue early in the year. Um, you know, we just had to fix it. You know, came together, working on our chemistry issue, and uh, you know, things are things are getting better for us. So, you know, that's just all it is. I mean, we're just working on that. And now, now we have an understanding, so things are going well for us. Uh, you know, I, I I just think you know I think we're just learning to play with each other every night, and, and uh, you know, I think I think he played really well tonight. You know, we both made made shots. Um, you know, down the stretch especially, and, and you know, I thought we both played pretty well. Hold on one second. Uh, Brendan? <laughs> What's going on, Ty? You're hilarious, man. I wanted to ask you, the start of the fourth, uh, you were really aggressive on offense. Is that something going into that quarter that you were really looking to uh, make an impact at the beginning of the fourth there, or was it kind of just, it came to you? Yeah, for sure. You know what time it is. It's winning time, man. You know, I, I feel like uh, last season, um, that was kind of my bread and butter in the fourth. This, you know, you know, last year, a lot of times I started the fourth. And, you know, coach let me ride the whole fourth, and that's when I made a lot of. I was able to make a lot of decisions and and, and kind of put my imprint on the game. So, um, you know, coming in the fourth today, I didn't see a difference. So, you know, it's, that's when it's time to time to win games. So I'm just I'm just doing that. I, I, did you hear me address my defense earlier? I'm just. Yeah, I, I heard you. I, yeah, I got I got to be better. I got to be better. I'm not running from it. I got to be better. You know, it, it, it'll it'll come. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> next game. Next one. Next one. Yesterday, and he said that he staggers you and Fox to make sure that one of you is on the court the entire time. In those moments when it's just you without Aaron on the court, does that help you sort of get your your flow going as far as your uh, your just dis you're distributing? Because it seems like those are the moments where you and Rashawn get things going, and, and you seem to take over the game a little bit. Um. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to flow around the floor together. I would just say, um, you know, when, when Fox is, is out the game, um, you know, I'll make it, I think my decision making, um, like how many times I make decisions increases a little bit. You know, I just have the ball in my hands a little bit more. I'm bringing it up more to where, you know, we're playing in drag ball screens or whatever the case may be uh, to where I'm having to make the decision. Um, you know, a lot of times early, you know, especially early, you know, when Fox is in the game, um, you know, he's, he's making more of the decisions. I'm, I'm more spot up, being ready to shoot, or, you know, then he'll run sets, sets for me. But I think it's just kind of flowing off each other, learning that balance between those two things. Um, but, I, I, you know, I would say, I think when he does come out, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just how it goes from time to time. But just figuring out how to work that flow for myself and, and for the team. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, you were both here, huh? Did you guys go to the movies and go bowling and stuff? Is that how you worked out your chemistry? Ah, uh, man, I don't know. We just call each other and said, man, how do we fix this? They know now. The media knows now, so we got to figure it out. <laughs> Thank you, Tom.